Hey all, uh, it's the Crazy Crow and I'm back in the shack. Um, I've had a productive Sunday today. Uh, knocked up a few photo frames that you probably can't see at the moment. They're just out of shot, but when it comes time to frack them, I'll move them into shot and get these out of the way. These are gonna be um, a couple of kind of large serving boards. Um, I've already done the, uh, the soaking process. Um, as you can see, again, I don't like to leave you waiting for too long. Um, so, like I say, these, you can see pretty much where I want the pattern to go. Like I say, there's only a certain element of control, but hopefully I can keep it within there. So I can have a certain certain kind of flow around these boards. And the picture frames, I'm not, not really minding where it goes on those. Uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we will see. We will see. Um, but right this minute, I've been preparing, getting me a uh, big old safety ready. Um, fans on, so I'm not going to... Uh, get smoked out in case anyone was worried I'm literally right by my door it's uh, well open the fan is drawing it all out from outside so we don't get too much noise from it and uh, right let's get to it let's see how this works I hope you enjoy this let's go And it's strange the way it started, nowhere near any of the problems. And you can see this wood is very thirsty, very thirsty. Yeah, by the way, I'm sorry, I actually forgot to say at the start of the video that this is um, English cedar sourced locally from a friend of mine. He's actually got so much wood that I actually couldn't get through it if I wanted. Um, and I gotta say, I say he's a friend, but he never ever told me. Um, he's actually um, a beekeeper, among other things. Um, he does fencing and everything else, but um, he is a beekeeper. Uh, which is really quite fun. I'm worrying when you go into the wood yard, which is at the same place as some of his bees. Um, but yeah, if anyone's interested in beekeeping, um, he's Gloucester Hive Maker. Um, if you want to look him up, um, he said, lovely fella. His name's Fred. Like I say, and he's local. So uh, again, local is local. I'd like to uh, use people I know more more often than not if I can it's not, not always possible for certain things in in this line however
use drainage burn patterns on these to be honest, they're really quite heavy. Um, I'm just going to add a little more surface just to see if it helps. Yeah, that might actually have been a little more than I was hoping for to be honest. So, let's give a little smear across. Open your key, you know, a little more surface water. There is one of the one of the best burns on this board so far, and it's right there, isn't it? Yeah, give me a like if you agree. But once uh, once the charring's gone off of that, that's going to be bloody lovely, guys. Bloody lovely. Pardon me, French. So, having said that, let's put a little more surface over this. And here we go, rain two. Odd, very odd. So the way this is burning is that uh, yeah, it's a little strange. Again. Just try that again because it seems very much like English cedar, if this is right, likes to be held further apart the most. If it does the same again, like a better burn this time, we'll be pretty confident. too soon but I'm hoping that's going to be a nice continual burn now from one to the other because it seems to be stretching up this left hand side where I wanted the frame to reach so if these two reach each other I won't be disappointed at all excuse my automatic lights thinking green save the electric light wow why couldn't it do that all the way across the board 
It is absolutely gorgeous the way that's going. Honestly, that's amazing. That's beauty. So maybe see if we can just tidy this, tidy this one up a little. And use the ones we've got. certain degree yeah we got a little more pretty now aren't we and then we have the boards um yeah let me just put these down and flick this off we'll swap them over to the open frames so that i'm nice and safe as you can see it went reasonably well, or you know, how I hoped it would be directed anyway. So that's that one. Here we go. We have a couple of Sapili picture frames. Um, I've made myself first couple of attempts. Um, so I'm not unhappy with it. You can see um, this one I actually cut by hand, so it's very slightly, however. Being unhappy with my very slightly, I made myself a very nice motor jig for the table saw. Um, and you can see the outcome is much, much better. Uh, but save waste in this one, I'm going to use this one for me. I'll have one of the kids' certificates in that or something just to uh, make use of it. But again, didn't want to waste the, old, the whole frame, so let's get on with it. Let's put my gloves back on. And away we go. All this fractal work in uh, one Sunday, this really will be what they call a Sunday session. Now, if I remember rightly, the Sapili, because it was so hard, this has been soaking the whole time that I've been doing that video, plus beforehand. Right, same as the last time, it was very, very dense, so the amount of water it took in wasn't a lot, and certainly not quickly. So, add a little bit more to that one, and let's get lively. Literally, negative and lively. Pedal. Well, these are fracking beautifully, as always. Sapili seems to be one of the nicest frack patterns you can get. I've been thinking about taking moulds of these. Um, but it's getting the right pattern and getting the right person um, to make the mould. Um, get them done this is, uh, this is all in the pipe rod. Unfortunately, with me running the pipe work and being no plumber, the pipe line uh, gets laid slowly. However, they are very much in motion. So, with the luck, at some point in the future, I will be having print sheets of these fractal patterns. So, maybe they can be used in other mediums. Um, certainly, jewelry making, I was thinking of, because I know I've been neglecting the jewelry makers recently. Um, 
I do still have a load of calves um, and pendants and a load of tree egg pendants on the website if jewelry makers are still interested. Um, I know there's been nothing new for a little while, however, the originals are still there. I'm going to say I am trying to break back into a certain level of that line, uh, like I say, albeit slowly at the moment. Right, guys, and there we have it. Um, we are through Sunday's frack session. Um, I have well and truly sauteed this Sapili and uh, charred the cedar. So right, let's go and get these washed off and that uh, cleaned up. And then, a bit of rough, it may well be uh, Monday or Tuesday by the time we get to post updates. However, updates will be coming if you've watched. Thanks for watching. If this is the first time, thanks very much. Keep watching. Um, We'll see you again soon. Hope you enjoyed it.